What up, guys? It's your boy, Virus. And I got something that needs to be put out there and bad. And this is serious fucking shit. And I'm not just saying just like a little serious shit. I mean serious fucking shit. What up, guys, to everybody watching? I know this morning I was doing really good, but right now I have some major shit to talk about and a motherfucker that needs to be put on blast. And this ain't a fucking joke. I ain't the only one neither that'll probably be doing this. There'll probably be others too putting this guy on blast. And I might be looking calm right now, but believe me, I am beyond the point of being calm. Trust me. So give me just a minute and let these last few things load. There we go. And shout out to every fucking body watching right now. If you guys are wondering what's going on, there's this dude named Adam. And if you guys want to know his full name, you can ask my friend Stephanie Merritt. She knows about the whole ordeal. She knows more in detail about what he's been doing and what he's been saying. Well, because of this man talking shit behind my back and me having to come on here like I'm doing now and calling his fucking punk ass out because I'm sick of him running his goddamn mouth about me saying shit that ain't true and continuing to do it, I lost out on a major fucking record deal today. Because of this Adam guy, I lost out on a major fucking record deal that could have changed my life and my family's life for pretty much good. Because of him, I lost out on the deal of a lifetime. Because of him, I lost out on being able to change my life and make my dreams a reality. And if you guys are wondering what they said to me, Now, keep in mind, this wasn't a major mainstream label. This is a major underground label. So these guys were pretty well established. I've heard of them before. Um, I can't quite remember the name off the top of my head. It was some weird name. But if I do remember the name, I will let you guys know. But they told me that because of the drama that they seen on my Facebook with all these live streams, that I'm not ready to be signed because I'm doing nothing but starting high school drama bullshit. When in reality, I'm just a fucking music artist. I'm just a regular guy defending himself. Now, if you guys want to know the basics about what's been going on with Adam, me and Adam have known each other for a long time, right? Well, I knew he was gay, and he knew that I wasn't. And he understood that. But yet, he still continued to hit on me and make hints that he wanted to be with me. And I told him many a times before, no, I am not like that. I am not gay. So therefore, 
he decided to be a little bitch and fucking go off on me and talk shit. All right, fine, whatever. So, you know, I let it go with that. Come to find out, he's not only been doing this shit to me, but to other people as well who are straight. And it's honestly getting fucking annoying. So, you know, I blocked him and shit. You know, did the right thing. I blocked his ass. Um, If you guys do want his number, you guys can write it down. I'm more than happy to give it to y'all. His number is 706. So y'all can write that shit down. And if y'all want to put an end to his ass, go for it. Because honestly, I fucking had it with his ass. So, Adam, if you're watching this shit, you little fucking faggot ass bitch, I've had enough of your fucking mouth. You want to sit there and run your mouth and then apologize after everything you fucking done? No. Apology not accepted. And just remember, Adam, you brought this on yourself. Nobody else. What's going to fucking learn that when... Somebody says no about being gay, they mean no. And honestly, dude, you're nothing but fucking drama. This shit needs to fucking stop, dude. Because of your ass, I fucking lost out on a major fucking record deal that could have changed my life and my family's life for good. Because of you, I lost out on making my dreams a reality. I was this fucking close, and you had to go and fuck it up like the little bitch you are. So, you know, you deserve every fucking, every goddamn fucking bit of the bullshit that you got coming your way. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not against gays, because, you know, I do have friends and family that are. I have nothing against gays, lesbians, transgenders. I'm all for it. You know, I have friends and family that are, so I'm used to it. But because of you, Adam, not understanding that I'm not gay and continuing to hit on me and then turning around and talking shit behind my back, I lost out on a major fucking record deal because of you. Yeah, I've got my record label, Bloodshot Records, but at the same time, what you're not understanding is that I need another label to sign my ass so I can make money to support that label that I've got going. But because of you, once again, my shit got fucked up. You deserve every fucking bit of the shit that you get. And if you guys want to know, um, as a matter of fact, Young Fox... If you go to my virus account on YouTube, I do have a fucking diss track out on this motherfucker as well. But if you guys do want to get a hold of him, as I said, you guys can rewind a little further back in the live stream and text him, call him, whatever you fucking can. Because of this man, I lost out on a major fucking deal. And I'm beyond pissed. Like, I spent my whole fucking life since 2010 striving, working my ass off day and fucking night to get to where I'm at. I put in blood, sweat, tears. There were nights where I was sick as a fucking dog, busting my fucking ass, doing what I got to do to get to where I'm at. And for all that to be fucked up and to be thrown to the curb, and stomped on by a record label because of this fucking bitch. It's fucking, it's, it's fucking devastating to me, my family, my friends, everybody that's fucking supported me over the years. You don't know how fucking hard I've had to work to get this far. Every day I fucking face discrimination. From record labels, from society, people tell me I'm not good enough to make it. And then I get one fucking label who fucking believes in me and what I'm trying to do for people like myself. And because of you, Adam, that got fucked up. 
because of you, you not only fucked up my dreams, but you fucked up my goals of making a change in the music industry for people like myself who are special needs. Because of you, you fucked that up. Because of you, I lost out on making an opportunity for those that don't have one. So I hope you're happy. Because of you, I lost out on my dream. Because of you, I have to start at square one again. And that's not fair to me or anyone else. So I hope you're happy. I'm out.